Thanks, Olivia. New at 5, changes are coming to Virginia's emergency SNAP benefits. The USDA says those benefits will expire in March. That will impact thousands of Virginians. Allotments were okayed by Congress to help low-income families in hardship because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Virginia is one of the last states still allocating those benefits. You can read more on our website, WRIC.com. A new report from Chesterfield school officials may spell the end to an experiment that has some students going to school year round. 8 News reporter Alexis Bellamy spoke with Chesterfield school officials today and brings us more detail about the potential change. She joins us now live from Bellwood Elementary School in Chesterfield. And Alexis, what do you know? Well, Eric, good evening. Students at both Bellwood Elementary and Falling Creek Elementary School have been going to school year round as opposed to the more traditional school schedule. But following a Tuesday night school board meeting, that all soon may be coming to a halt. Students at both schools still attend the normal 180 days of instruction mandated by the state, but their breaks are scattered throughout the year. Those breaks or intercessions totaling seven weeks a year include extracurricular activities. But now, after what the county is calling several years of study, school officials say it is time to call it quits. The school recently sent out a survey to parents and guardians on what they would prefer when it comes to the school schedule. The county received 213 responses from 1,000. 1,323 households. That's about a 16% response rate. According to new information from the government website ncs.ed.gov for the 2021 to 2022 school year, Falling Creek Elementary School enrolled almost 400 Hispanic students out of a total of 706 or 57%. Bellwood had 243 Hispanic students out of a total of 486. That's 50%. The school system says that survey about year-round school was sent to households in English and in Spanish. A woman I spoke to who has a young son at Bellwood said she likes the year-round schedule and says her son does too. She said it's the only school schedule her son has ever known and that transitioning into a traditional school schedule makes her a little anxious but doesn't think it would affect his routine or learning. In a recently released statement, Dr. Monique Booth, one of the directors of elementary leadership for the county, had this to say on the potential change. Based on the academic outcomes and the involvement in intercessions by students and staff, as well as the feedback from stakeholders, we recommend that students at Bellwood and Falling Creek Elementary Schools return to the traditional calendar. The school board will vote on whether or not to transition both elementary schools at their next meeting on February 7th. In Chesterfield, Alexis Bellamy, 8 News.